Hey everyone, so I got a little short video, or I'll try to keep it short here. Um, so I got this in the mail today and opened it up to check for damages on the box. And as you can see, USPS didn't fail in that department. But anyway, um, right here, da -da -da, Sterling Inc. They are a um, planner sticker company. They do vellum, they do all kinds of things. Um, I just discovered them within the last few months. I order their subscription it uh, has like two pieces of vellum inside has a bunch of stickers beautiful washi stickers um in there and um just this year they started making planners so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up now first of all let me tell you this package is packaging is amazing this box is beautiful and i've seen other people um online use it for like to hold the actual stickers because the stickers that they come with Let's see if my desk has them some of them like this is some of them here and as you can see they'll fit perfectly in this box so look at that beautiful isn't it um anyway so let me go ahead and open up the paper see all the flex from the gold leaf that um, gold edging Leave this on the side all right, so here we are. So here is her 2023 Common Planner in the mauve pink and the black. I got the half year one. So this is part one and this one is part two. So as you, it's a B6 size. So this is sort of like the unicorn of planners. Not that they don't have B6 planners, but let me show you why. First, I love this i mean she took a poll on um whether this was even necessary because the pages do kind of stick a little bit uh with the gold but it just kind of gives it that little extra you know the little extra i don't know pizzazz glamour luxury i don't know what a good word is but it makes it just makes it pop so anyway let me open this up here so we have normal cover page we have the 2023 calendar and then over here some couple of blank pages and then we have a goal breakdown so it says someday one year half year quarterly monthly to daily so you can kind of instead of i guess vision board people say you know make a vision board um this is sort of another way to do it um daily habits and goals and things like that um and you can categorize it and work your way to making it happen. Um, here are some qu quarter one priorities, January, February, March. And then we have the sort of like the Hobonichi where you have the daily, um, the, the month in view in this way. And then we have quarter two. And then um, we have the month, the, ca the full month calendars. Okay, so let me just skip here. Okay, this goes through July. And then we get to the daily. So this kind of mirrors the Hobonichi um, cousin layout where you have um, a Monday start. You have the blank on the edge date calendar here. It is, she did say it's about one square short from a Hobonichi cousin size. Um, but I mean, I can always trim down my stickers to fit this no problem. But the paper is absolutely gorgeous and amazing. It, she uses Tomoe River paper. This is the new one, and it just feels so soft and just silky smooth. I love, love, love this so far, okay? And then back here, rather than having dated daily pages, she does have them numbered. So if you can see, she does have pages numbered down here, but you can use this as you, as you want. And this is personally, um, this is what I would wish Hobo Nietzsche would do. Give me my monthly, give me my weekly, I don't need the daily. I don't need like to track something every day. I do feel really bad when I don't fill up pages or I leave them blank. I feel like I'm wasting them. I think this way is much better um, to kind of give you that freedom to journal as little or as much or not even journal just to use it for whatever you want to use it for notes, lists, ideas, things like that. Um, so I think this is great and I really do love this B6 size. Um, 
I've kind of stayed away from the B6 size because most planners don't have what I need. I, I have such a hard time finding planner piece. Um, I got pretty close with the Nolte this year, but I think that the Nolte is an A5 size, but I would, I'm gonna also kind of give this a try and see if I can find planner piece with this. I'm, well, I'm still debating. And the only reason is I just kind of decked out my Hobonichi cousin. Um, but with the sticker kits and things they have now, I could always redate this uh, very easily for use uh, next year if I don't really want to dig into it right now. So, but anyway, guys, this is the Sterling Ink 2023 um, half year planners in the mauve and the, um, and the black. So super high quality paper, look, feel, size. I can't wait. I got a couple covers that I'm going to try on. I literally haven't even gotten those yet. So can't wait to do that. Anyway, thanks you guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, aloha.